Hello lads, lassies, and those of unspecified gender, it's the Irishman here, and today, this video is going to be completely informative, simply because I want to be able to show you why, in my mind, I believe the numbers that the Saiyan race holds are actually far greater than most people assume. This video will be imperative for my next video, talking about Bardock, the legend of the Super Saiyan God which is basically just going to be me writing fanfiction about Bardock, except in a what-if kind of scenario. This video will be necessary for power scaling that version of Bardock, because, spoiler warning, Bardock is going to receive the powers of every Saiyan on planet Vegeta when the entire race was called down to the planet by Frieza. This would not only allow Bardock to achieve the Super Saiyan God form, as at least five Saiyans, probably the ones on his squad, would be pure-hearted, but it would also make him achieve an unstoppable power. Because, from my own personal beliefs, the Saiyan race should have close to 70 to 100 billion people occupying their numbers. As absurd as it might sound to assume that the Saiyan race would have 70 to 100 billion people, think about the fact that planet Vegeta would be about 10 times the size of Earth since it has 10 times the gravity. And then because the planet is 10 times larger, the gravity would then amplify that same amount, which would mean that there could be more people on said planet. But that's not my only argument for it, that's just my reason for assuming it's 10 times Earth's current population, which I think is about 7 to 8 billion. No, the reason I assume that it actually is this high, rather than in the low to mid hundreds range, which most people assume, is because Frieza said that the Saiyan race built up about half of the power of his entire army. To make up half of the entire fighting force of Frieza's army, your numbers would have to be insane unless the average person in said race had a power level of close to 1 million. The reason this is is because Frieza, who has conquered millions of planets alongside his father, would then have millions of races enslaved under his boot heel. Granted, it's probably close to a hundred thousand races, seeing as most of the planets have the entire populace completely eradicated and then the planet is sold, but still, having hundreds of thousands of races is insane when you consider the fact that the human race, on its own, not counting all of the wildlife and different animals we have on the planet, makes up a number around seven to eight billion. So, yes, assuming that Frieza's fighting force would be comprised of trillions of people makes a decent amount of sense, but then the Saiyans matched half of that power. So that means that the Saiyans would have had to either have insane average base powers or insane numbers to match said insane numbers, which would make sense when you consider that the Saiyans are focused on increasing their power, like not, not only their personal fighting power, but also the strength of their entire race. A Saiyan's pride is a very big thing we see in Vegeta. So, assuming that Saiyans would constantly breed, that way their numbers are increased and the power of the Saiyan race is incomprehensible, doesn't sound too far-fetched. Now, granted, you could make the argument that since every Saiyan supposedly would have a power level close to 10,000, and then they could use the Great Ape form to then get up to a power level of 100,000. Maybe Frieza's numbers just weren't as high as I calculated, and they were able to bridge the gap. But Frieza never stated with the power of the Great Ape, his soldiers were equal to the fighting force of the Saiyans. No, instead, he said the Saiyans made up half of his army. Now, I'm pretty sure he meant in terms of power. If he meant in terms of numbers, they made up of half his army. That's absolutely insane, and I am way lowballing. 
but I still feel like I'm lowballing saying 100 billion. But the point is, the Saiyans would have a planet 10 times the size of Earth so they could breed as much as they want without worrying about overpopulation for the planet since the planet is so large and doesn't seem to have as many oceans and bodies of water as Earth does. So they mostly have open land they could use to build houses or taverns and stuff like that where they could house families and different children. Plus, we see that they have incubation chambers, which allows Saiyan children to grow up and grow into their most advanced selves at a young age. That way, they, right out of the womb, can begin fighting after they get out of their incubation chamber. This further corroborates my point of saying that the Saiyans would constantly breed, that way their numbers are increased and they have more fighting power. And so, assuming that the Saiyan race would have nearly a hundred billion members isn't too insane. This would also make sense on why Frieza was so terrified of the Saiyan race. Not only because of the Super Saiyan, which yeah, totally did scare him, but also because the Saiyans collectively, if they were to fight together, would overpower him a hundredfold. Probably a lot more than that. And since we know that the Saiyans are the farthest thing from loyal even to their own blood, as we saw with Raditz and Kakarot, there is no reason to assume that Frieza wouldn't be terrified, they would just rebel against him in their overwhelming numbers, especially if they go into the Great Ape form which will multiply all of their power by tenfold, would absolutely terrify Frieza. His army would be crippled and he would be dead. Granted, the Saiyans were too stupid to ever actually do this, which would make sense since we never really saw any of the Saiyans have schools or buildings to help them increase their intelligence. Instead, it was mostly focused on battle and making sure that you had the pointiest stick or you could lift the most rocks. But the point is that the Saiyans, if they wanted to, and if they were smart enough to, would have overthrown Frieza and destroyed his army, killing not only him, but also his father. Unless we saw some like Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance crap with Frieza just murdering every single Saiyan like they're nothing. But I'm saying if Frieza were to shoot down that supernova and the entire Saiyan race were to push back against it with their own energy blasts, Frieza wouldn't survive that. So yes. For my what if talking about Bardock becoming the Super Saiyan God and any other what ifs I make, I'm going to assume that the Saiyan race has a number close to, if not matching, a hundred billion in terms of people. Feel free to disagree and state your thoughts in the comments, but I'm going to keep this number pretty concrete for the foreseeable future. Have a nice day. This is, always has been, and always will be the Irishman. Talk to you later. Bye.